Some of us are going back home today. And even though you can't take the trees and the beautiful views from here, you can take the skills you've learned, the skill of working with the breath. It's something that holds you in good stead as you go through the day. The skills of restraining your speech, restraining your thoughts. These are not just for a retreat. It's interesting when the Buddha talks about goodwill, he describes it as a kind of restraint. In other words, you show goodwill for yourself by being very careful about what you say, what you think, what you do. And of course, you show care for other people when you take care of your actions as well. So think of this as a practice of showing goodwill for yourself and goodwill for the world, trying to stay centered inside, being very careful about what you send out into the world, and being careful about what you bring in. There are a lot of things that are going to stir up the mind if you don't pay the right kind of attention to them. It's not that you go through the world with blinders, but you do try to have a sense of restraint as to what you react to. Some things you take in, if they, you see that they're useful, but make sure that you have a sense that anything that's going to stir up the mind, give rise to greed, aversion, delusion, just let it stop right there at the sense door. A sight makes contact at the eye and just leave it there. You don't have to suck it in. A sound makes contact at the nose. You don't have to bring it in. Because the contact ends. And then if it has an effect in the mind, well, the reverberation in the mind. That's your doing. So look into that. To what extent do you feed off of bad things in the world? To what extent do you bring in bad things in the world? And then you complain that your house is full of garbage. You have to clean it out when you come back to meditate. And John leaves images of a house with windows and doors that you can open and close. So learn when to leave them open, when to close them. When to bring in good things, things that would be helpful to the mind. As for the bad things, that Outside, keep them out. The bad things inside, you keep them in. Sometimes it's like having tigers in your basement. Well, keep them down there in the basement. Don't let them out. Because they go around disturbing the neighbors. And then, of course, the impact comes back to you. The restraint is sometimes difficult, which is why you also have to have this sense of well-being that comes from being with the breath. When it stirs up the mind, Focus on what it does to the breathing, what it does to the sense of breath energy in the body, wherever there's a sense of tightness or, or tension. Think of your, atten your attention dispersing it. And that way you can put out a lot of little fires before they get large. And you take the skill of being with the breath, finding a sense of well-being with the breath. And that becomes your foundation as you go through the day. It's not just one more thing to add to your various duties of the day. It's the place where you stand. It's your support. So don't leave your support, because otherwise you start tipping over. But if you stay firmly grounded, then you can stay in the world, but not suffer from the world. And that right there is a huge accomplishment.